What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can farm the Exodus Garden 2A Lost Sector. This is of course the 1250 Legend Lost Sector that's on the Cosmodrome. I'm going to go over the easiest way and tips I can give you to help farm this out for today. Now I did this about three or four times and then I was able to get the brand new arms to drop. So I'm hoping that with this guide you guys will be able to get this done today and farm it pretty quickly. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to check out more guides like this one, remember to click subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an upload so let's get started so we'll start out with the loadout and then move forward into actually completing the lost sector so as far as weapons go i wanted to use a pulse rifle and an auto rifle so that way you have overload and anti-barrier available as far as your power weapon goes anything that's pretty good at dealing dps such as xenophage queen breaker or even whisper would be good as well basically you want something that can do a lot of damage from a long range now you do want to make sure you have a void for for the void shields on the servitors that's the only elemental shields in this lost sector so i decided to go with cold denial for my pulse rifle gnawing hunger for an auto rifle and xenophage as my power weapon now i am on stasis subclass so even if you don't have the fragments and the aspects unlocked you can still complete this if you do have the dusk field grenade i would highly recommend using that for pve that's going to help stun the overload captains Next up, moving on to our mods on our armor and our exotic choice. This is going to be pretty important. I chose to use Wormhusk Crown as every time you dodge, you're going to get your health back. Now, of course, if you're on a Warlock or a Titan, this is going to be slightly different. But basically, just use whatever exotic armor helps you survive longer especially if you're under leveled now the mods that i chose to use there's a lot more crazier builds i could go with but i wanted to give really basic mods that pretty much everyone will have access to so the only mods that i really used were overload rounds and anti-barrier for the pulse rifle and the auto rifle these can be on the seasonal artifact void damage resistance which on a void chest piece you can add two of them and two more artifact mods thermal overload and surge eater what these do every time you throw a stasis grenade or solar grenade it's going to disrupt an overload champion and then also with surge eater whenever you disrupt an overload champion you'll get your grenade back so you basically can have an infinite grenade as long as you don't miss on the overload champions this is going to be especially helpful when trying to clear them out now of course you could go into the charge with light or the war mind cell mod builds to make this even easier but i wanted to show that you could do this pretty easily without any of that. Now remember for the Legend Lost Sectors, you do have limited revives. So as you start, you'll have three revives. And each time you clear a champion, you'll gain another revive back. This is also on a timer, similar to the GM Nightfalls. So once you reach your 15 minute mark on your run, it will take away all of your revives and you'll have your last stand. So just keep that in mind as you're progressing through the Lost Sector. Now when you first load into the Lost Sector, you're going to see first, straight off the bat, there's the Servitor with the Void Shield. You want to make sure to take that out. And then there's going to be a couple Shanks. Once you kill them, the barrier will drop, and you're going to have a bunch of fallen enemies you'll need to kill. Now to your right is going to be the first champion, so just be aware of that as you start defeating enemies. The first champion is going to be a barrier servitor. So with these, with the barrier champions, what you want to do is you want to weaken them a little just to where they'll pop up their barrier shield. As soon as they do that, you want to switch to your anti-barrier weapon. In this case, will be our pulse rifle. And you want to make sure to shoot it to stun it. And once you stun it, you'll get the damage boost. And then you can unload with your heavy weapon to kill it. It's a little bit different compared to some of the other enemies in the game. So if you've never dealed with anti-barrier champions, it's going to get some getting used to. Main thing here is you want to make sure to prepare for when you're going to stun it. So that way you don't have the wrong weapon out or you have no ammo in your anti-barrier weapon. Once you defeat this servitor, then just clear out the rest of the enemies and the next barrier will fall. Remember, finishers are especially helpful when it comes to defeating champions once you get their health low enough. Now the next champion will spawn right away and that's going to be the overload captain. He likes to teleport a lot. Now remember, if you're using auto rifle for overload, you do need to fire a few rounds into the enemy before it'll actually proc the overload shot. So you want to make sure you're at a good distance because the enemies do hurt and it will spawn a bunch of enemies around you as well. This is of course going to be the overload and you can see here where throwing 
the overload grenade is going to stun him and you'll get your grenade back so you can basically have infinite grenades here main area of a focus is definitely taking out the overload champion and just staying alive in the back once you finish this overload champion you can continue clearing out all the rest of the enemies now once you get to this area there is going to be a sniper that will spawn on the top left building he will spawn a couple times throughout the encounter so just keep in mind you want to make sure to take him out as he can deal a lot of damage there's going to be exploder shanks that will spawn to your right so make sure as you approach the next area to keep an eye out for that you can also hear them as they're spawning now next up there's going to be one more overload captain that spawns so try to take him out as quick as you can again you want to throw your grenade and if you're using the auto rifle make sure you lay into him a few rounds before the overload will proc now once you defeat him there will be some servitors that spawn in the back with void shields you want to keep an eye on them as they're going to make everything else around them immune there's also going to be the anti-barrier servitor, the next champion you'll have to deal with. This is probably the most annoying champion to deal with because of where it spawns. This is probably about the time when you get your super, so if you do, you can definitely pop it here to try to clear some of the enemies. Keep in mind, the anti-barrier servitor is going to immune a lot of the enemies, so you're definitely going to want to stun him and then pop your super if you can. Once you defeat this anti-barrier servitor, just continue clearing out the rest of the enemies, and it'll spawn a few more void servitors in the back. Now once you clear all of these enemies and you move on to the final stage, this is where your long range DPS is going to be very helpful. There's two, maybe three void servitors that surround the main boss, so you want to make sure to try to take them out if you can. It's also going to spawn a bunch of dregs on the ground floor near you, so if you have an open shot you can definitely take it on the main boss. This is where Xenophage came in really handy because it does a lot of burst damage. If you need to, you can try to take out all the enemies and then deal damage to the boss, but with this boss there's no time gate, so you can just melt the boss straight away and then clear all the enemies. Once you do this, the chest will unlock and you can pick it up for your chance at a new exotic. Now again, there's a ton of different builds you can use to complete this, but I think this is a pretty generic basic guide that will help most of you guys out. So if it does, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you want to catch another guide just like this one, you can click the link on screen now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.